Hi everyone and welcome to lecture 79 working capital ratios invent return over ratio. In the previous lecture we learned how to find the receivables turnover and the days receivables outstanding. In this lecture we will do the same thing for inventories and I want to explain or remind you because we have covered these topics when we uh, went through financial statements in the previous sections of this course, I want to go over inventories or stocks, which um, represents, which may represent raw materials, work in progress, and all finished goods of a business. The inventory turnover ratio shows us how efficiently the inventories of a company is managed. And as you can see here, we have um, two different ratios, two different formulas um, to, to go over. The first one is the inventory turnover ratio, which is found by dividing the total cost of goods sold by the average inventories. As you remember, we take the average of the last two years in order to avoid possible one-off effects that may arose and in, in, arise in, in one of the one of the financial years. So once we find the inventories turnover, as you can see here down, we can find the day's inventories outstanding, which will give us on average the number of days the company keeps its goods and service inventories before they are sold. So um, the day's inventory is outstanding um, is found by the number of days in a year, which is in this case a 365 divided by the inventory turnover ratio. The number we get will tell us on average how many days it takes for a company to turn its inventory into sales it is important it's a it's a very important um, operational metric that shows a company's operational efficiency because the longer you keep your stocks unsold the more money you need to finance your operations all right so um, now like we did in the previous lectures i'm going to go to my excel document to find the um, inventory turnover ratios of Starbucks Corporation. And I'm gonna type that right here, inventory turnover. Oops, turnover, all right. So as I did here in this case, uh, since I don't have the financials for the year, for the financial year 2013, I'm gonna skip 2014 because I can't get the past year's figures to, to um, find an average figure for the inventories. So I'm gonna come here and I will first go to my cost of goods sold, which is right here, as you can see, divided by the average inventories right here, plus 2015 and divided by two like this all right and since I want a, a positive number I need to put a minus sign here because the cost of sales the cost of goods sold is given uh, as a negative number here all right I'll go through the formula once again uh, the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventories in 2014 and 2015 this will give me the inventory turnover ratio of Starbucks all right so it is 5.7 and I'm gonna copy and paste this one to find the figure for the for the following sorry guys we made a mistake um, hopefully we didn't make this one here yes as you can see here I used 2014 instead I had to use this one so 6.5 and 6.3 all right sorry and as again this uh, figure maybe um, doesn't make much sense to you but once we find the 
base inventory outstanding it will days inventory outstanding will tell us how many days it takes for Starbucks to turn its inventory into sales it is an important operational metric and it's pretty straightforward to calculate it once we get the inventory turnover it's the number of days in a year 365 divided by the inventory turnover ratio which is 6.5 for the financial year 2015 56 days all right and I'm gonna find this one here as well as you can see here it the inventory um, the days inventory outstanding is is much higher than the days receivables outstanding so when Starbucks sells something it receives it collects money in in 13 days all right it collects money in a very short period of time but it is it, it's it sells its inventories um, uh, turns inventories into sales in almost two months what Starbucks mostly deals with as, as a, what, what it sells it, it sells coffee right so where does the coffee come from probably from other countries Brazil Colombia Africa you know some parts of US like all around the world so Starbucks probably when they when they buy this coffee um, the, the raw material I mean the, the, the commodity the agricultural commodity of coffee they book it as as inventories however they need to process them ship them to different destinations I believe that is why it takes almost two months um, for Starbucks to turn its inventories into sales because when you put coffee in a Starbucks shop it, it will likely to go out in a few few days or weeks right it, it, it shouldn't take too long so I think it is it is the travel um, from the land to the um, Starbucks stores that takes so long all right um, that was the day's um, inventory outstanding a shorter period of course indicates a more efficient management of inventories and stocks however as in the case of accounts receivable and days inventories outstanding depends on the sector guys um, um, well, this may this number um, may look high but it, it, it's actually not um, yeah, for this for companies dealing with agricultural commodities I guess um, but uh, for instance um, the fast casual retailer um, fashion retailer Zara the Spanish uh, clothing retailer company is known for its very efficient turnover days which are approximately two weeks two weeks that means a Zara item waits only two weeks as an inventory before it was sold that is, that is crazy if you think about it that's really um, super efficient management of inventory however um, as I mentioned this period can be much longer for uh, let's say a construction company as it takes a much longer time to turn its stocks into a sellable product so um, the sooner a company turns its inventories into sales the less working capital it will require all right guys um, that is all for inventory turnover ratios um, now let's move to the next lecture to go over the accounts payable turnover so i see you guys in lecture 80. Mm -hmm.